Hi, and welcome back to the Global Marks Advisor. Today, we want to discuss global expansion. You know, global expansion has become a huge topic, as it should be, because now we can do business around the world without any kind of delay. All, the only delay we have is in time delay. You know, since the dawn of the recession, companies all over the USA, Canada, and the UK have started to put concerted efforts and attention and focus on conducting business outside of their home turf, outside of their home markets. And this is for very good reason. And as the Aussies would say down here, you're too right, mate. The picture is so clearly visible. Developed nations are slowly losing their market share and, their, and thus their profitability, which is leading to a devaluation of their businesses. We can no longer focus on our home turf. For all of our continued and sustained earnings, the brick economies and other high growth markets are on the rise and they are going to continue to do so. We've all heard it said that the China and India will surpass the U.S. in terms of its economic strength within the next 20 years. And according to many, it will be in the next 15 for China to surpass the U.S. One day this is going to happen. And in between now and then, your market share, your profitability is going to continue to dissipate. That's why those who see this trend are saying now that, that they're putting this concerted effort towards increasingly uh, building up their forward operations. It's becoming a very important focus for their overall growth strategy. You know, people are finding great success in, these, in their global pursuits. These success stories are built on the back of a lot of careful analysis, uh, a lot of uh, correct opportunity spotting, with quality searching, companies are finding untapped market opportunities in certain regions and countries, which has been resulting in a lot of increased sales and profits. With small to medium-sized businesses conduct this careful, careful market analysis, they are finding an increased need for their products and services that the developed markets are either saturated with or are taking for granted. But which are lacking in these new industrializing nations or in these new emerging economies as they're also referred. They are finding clients. They are finding clients who are demanding and inquiring for foreign suppliers, foreign buyers, foreign distributors, etc. I'm going to leave you with a tip. A tip from the experienced. Negotiation is key and emerging markets shouldn't be thought of as inferior or inexperienced. You need to learn the markets well that you're looking to move into. You know, in this period of worldwide economic uncertainty, it's, it is more important than ever that businesses, whatever their country of origin, raise their game to stay ahead of the competition. You need to increase their bottom line, your bottom line, and guarantee your future. Globalizing your business, your talents, and your products or services could be the answer that you're looking for in order to do this. I'd encourage you to harness the global market's advisors, global expertise, we're here to help small businesses, medium-sized businesses, innovators, and entrepreneurs reach their potential and to help you spot and to make the most of the opportunities that exist within these high-growth markets. We can offer you strategic and impartial advice, guidance on your business plans, on your market in entry. We can help you with market and country research and even introductions to key contacts. We help you to overcome the barriers to, new, to doing new overseas business, and we enable you to improve your business performance. So is there something that you do or sell that would appeal to these high growth markets around the world? If so, why not be in touch today? There is good economic and sound evidence that states that firms secure most value if they enter into high growth markets at an early stage. So don't let the grass grow into your feet. Start by familiarizing yourself with these countries. Read some books, search the internet, take a holiday or vacation to these countries. Saturate yourself with everything you can find out about these new economic powerhouses and get your business or your idea ready for international expansion today. So have you started to develop a strategy? Or perhaps you've already dipped your toe into the emerging market water? I encourage you to continue to investigate. Another way you can do that, one way is to comb the Global Markets Advisors website. You see all of our past video blogs. You can download any PDFs that are available for free. Another option that you can do is in person, we host market opportunity masterclasses and largely around the United States and Canada. And that's where we come in with a group of 12 business owners and we sit down for a half day or a full day and we analyze the markets. We look at it, we ask questions, and we look at the opportunities that exist in the global arena today. 
you can register your interest on the site, globalmarketsadvisor.com. But within these masterclasses, there's a few things that we're looking to uh, answer for you. First of all, the question is, is, how do you get started? What should you research first? Which market is the best fit for your product or service or business? What do you need? What will you need? And what are your options? What skills and knowledge will you need to develop to be successful? So there's lots of questions in Going Global, Go Global, but we have lots of answers. And we can help you along the way. Thanks for tuning in to Global Marks Advisor. Look forward to seeing you next time.